All right, so I am back, and today we are going to talk about the new Transformers Siege line uh, that we have coming. Um, now, I can't remember if I actually did a video on the Siege line when it first came out. I know, like, Matt Baldwin did, and uh, Skullface did, and, you know, a whole bunch of other people did uh, about their opinions. So, I, I just can't remember if I did or not. Um, and then we've already got uh, two videos for Matt B on this, um, talking about this, the, the new reveals. So, um, so first off, a little while back, we got announcements for all of these Autobots that were coming up, um, for the siege line, um, let's see here. We'll just kind of go through these. Uh, so the uh, Autobots, uh, we got a Battlemaster fire dive, um, which just looks like a little like Titan Master kind of doohickey. And I do apologize. I'm not as good <laughs> with editing <laughs> as some other people, so. Yeah, we're just gonna do it this way. And then there's uh, let's see, Lionizer. They don't really look all that uh, intriguing to me, so you know they are what they are. Um, and so the next we get Mag Micro Masters. There's Autobot Battle Patrol, Autobot Race Control, Autobot Rescue Patrol. Um, so Battle Patrol. Uh, now I know in G1 there were three, three per. In the in the siege line there are two, per, um, which is fine, you know. Can't win them all, right? Uh, let's see here. So it almost looked like mini cons. So, that's the uh, race car patrol and rescue patrol. So, you know, I mean, they look good. Uh, um, now, I may, I may not be picking up any of those uh, battle masters um, as far as those go, but um, the micro masters, I, I definitely will pick those up. Um, and then deluxe class, we had sides. We got sideswipe, cog, hound, chroma, ironhide, and red alert. So let's take a quick peek at these. Um, now, there's red alert. I think he looks great. I mean, I I like it a lot. Um, cog. He, you know, he's definitely there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what to think about him. Um, Hound looks good. Now, I, I'm just on the uh, tfwiki.net um, page. Uh, that's where I get a lot of my Transformers info out of. So, I, I, it's a good one. So, this one is a really a retool of one of the how are the Primes figures. So it's Chroma. And let's see, Ironhide. Uh, I would prefer Ironhide to be a little bit bigger, but than a Deluxe. But if Optimus is a Voyager, I don't want Ironhide to be a Voyager, so I think it's about the right scale. And he looks good. Um, and then we got Red Alert, which I assume is just a straight repaint, pretty much, of 
side swipe but there you go and with the light bar and then Optimus Prime which is Voyager class which uh, I think the truck mode looks a little derpy um, but that robot mode looks incredible I mean it it's a good it's a good looking one and then Ultra Magnus which is really cool because we get uh, the cab which turns into a white Optimus looking thing without it actually being just a repaint of Optimus um, but then you get the battle armor that you can put on to make Ultra Magnus um, and I think that just looks great um, so so those were all announced a while ago uh, and, and it was one of those like you know I was like well, okay cool uh, and then I started thinking about it actually I think it was like last week and I was like wait a minute where are the Decepticons I mean, are we really going to get an entire line of just Autobots? I mean, I know they do Decepticon lights sometime, but seriously, that's that's disturbing. And lo and behold, <laughs> um, we get the Decepticons come out. Um, so, let's see. So, we'll start with the uh, Battle Masters. So, first off, we got, what is this guy's name? Blowpipe? So, just a little Target Master type dude. Again, nothing too spectacular. They do all come with these, like, effects. Um, let's see here. Aimless. So, he's one of the actual Target Masters from G1. Uh, I think he goes with Trigger Happy. Um, but yeah, there's two of those, you know, I might, I might pick up the Decepticon Battlemasters. I don't, I, I, I almost guarantee I won't get the Autobot ones. Um, Decepticon Airstrike Patrol, well, which comes with two little jets. Um, now this, I think, is incredibly cool because I had this set when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, there was a third one in there, but I, I will happily take the two. Um... But I did have those when I was a kid, and, and yeah, that looks good. Um, and then here's the Cybertron, or Soundwave Spy Patrol. So we get a Laser Beak and Ravage. Um, so there those guys are. Ra Ravage looks like he's, uh, hasn't missed leg day. Or at least forearm day. Or, I guess, bicep day. Missed forearm day. Yeah, he's a little chunky there. But, um, looks good. Um, and we get to the Deluxes. Um, so the Sky Tread, which is flywheels. Um, so it does look like he's going to be a jet and a tank that you combine together to make uh, into a robot. That looks pretty cool. Uh, not a character I'm familiar with myself, but, I mean, he looks cool. And then there's Brunt. Um, now Brunt, let's see here, is, uh, one of those guys that goes with, uh, supposed to go with Trypticon, so it's kind of cool. Cog goes with, uh, I think Metroplex, but we didn't get these with those figures, so it's kind of cool to, that they're coming out now, but, you know, it's also one of those, like, eh, whatever. All right, now we get into the stuff that I find extremely exciting. Um, so we get Refractor, which is Reflector. Um, now this is a deluxe, deluxe figure. Um, and from what I understand, uh, so you can transform it into this gun thing. And then this little uh, viewfinder piece can come off. So if you get three of them, then you can have uh, the other two without it, and he could be the leader. And then when you, if you do get all three, you can make a camera. So, yeah, they've designed it to be troop building. Is this gonna? It's coming back. There we go. It's having a hard time adjusting to me and the picture. So yeah, like I said, I'm just not good enough with editing that I can. 
just <laughs> throw the pictures on there. So this is the best I can do. Um, so the reflector looks great. Um, I've been waiting for a good chug reflector for so long. And now to finally have one within sight. And he looks like he cleans up perfect. I mean, he looks good. Um, yeah. And then we get to the Voyager class. Now, um, so, so as you can see, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Autobot Deluxes. So they outnumber the Decepticons two to one. Then we get to the Voyagers, though. There is one Autobot Voyager uh, to the five that they have listed. Now, I don't, um, I don't know if Sound Blaster is actually coming or not. But either way, you know, I won't, I'm not going to even talk about him. But with that, it's it's three to one. Uh, so, so we get Megatron. We'll start with him, and he is a tank. Megatron, um, like an H tank, but he looks like a very G1 looking Megatron. Uh, now my friend in one of their promo pictures, um, his cannon is up on his shoulder. Now a friend of mine was asking like, why is it on his shoulders? But you can see there are ports on the forearm as well. So I'm assuming that the cannon can go there or there, but whoever set up the display just kind of put it in the wrong uh, place. He got He's got a sword. You know, if you want your Megatron to have a sword. But he looks good. Um, yeah. Uh, then there's Soundwave. Um, who turns into a thingy. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, but the Soundwave itself looks great. And you, apparently you can put uh, the, the Ravage uh, laser beak into his torso. I don't know how many you can put, it, put in there at once. Um, but you can at least get one. I know that. And I know the laser beak you can put on the back of Hound. Um, this is one that I'm almost, almost the most excited for, but not quite. And that is the Starscream. So we're getting the, the Tetra Jets. And look at how how close to G1 look that that Starscream is. I mean, it's it's so close to G1, and yet it's a Tetra Jet. Um, I'm I'm blown away. Um, and then there's the one that I'm extremely excited for, and that is the Leader Class Shockwave. Now. This, like, when I first saw this, I was like, I laughed. I, I literally laughed. I thought that was such a, a stupid-looking um, sound wave, or shock wave. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then you go down here, here's this little jet mode or whatever. But then you realize that that's just battle armor that you can take off and there's his G1 look and there's all the battle armor in some sort of like tank mode. Um, so without the battle armor, he's, I believe he's about a Voyager. Um, so he's going to be on, on scale with, uh, the rest of them. Um, and then of course there's an Omega Supreme coming. Uh, let's see if they have, uh, they, they don't have any pictures of him up yet. So, there we go. Um, I'm just like, you know, I was like kind of excited for the Siege line, you know. It, it, looks, it definitely looks like they're putting some more effort into the Transformers uh, with this line. Um, they're, they seem to be built a little bit better from what, what, what we can tell from promo pictures. Um, Posabilities uh, looks like it's there a little bit better, um, like ankle rockers and tilts and all that stuff. So that that's exciting. Um, more paint apps. There's a battle damage aspect that they that they've got going on, which you know I'm I'm kind of like eh, 50 50 on. It's like I could go either way. Um, but the, but because they're putting more effort into it, um, the figures look better. Um, and, and that's exciting, and I, and I was I was somewhat excited for the line, at up up until the other day, um, and then we get the Decepticons, and that just puts me through the roof. I'm 100% all in on this. Um, 
I I don't care. I mean, this looks good. Uh, I am definitely going to pick it up. I have my hopes high. Uh, as high as they can go with this line. Um, I, I really hope I'm not disappointed when I get them. Um, but I'm going to... I'm. I haven't been this excited for a Transformer line since Combined Wars was first announced. And we all know how that turned out. So so I was a, it was a pretty big letdown. Um, but this is a line that I'm actually excited for. This looks like a line that's catered to us. Um, more so than what we had. I mean, you know, Skullface did a good video the other day. Uh, about a week or so ago about how Chug is catered to us to begin with, but they have to make it for kids. Uh, and I agree to that, but still, this looks more like what a collector is looking at. Um, I hear the price point's going to go up a little bit, um, which, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, for a while there, I was getting irritated with the price keep going up, the price keep going up. But then it's, then I stopped and really thought about it. It's like, if I'm willing to spend um, 100 plus dollars on a third party figure, you know, if Hasbro made something in this quality and, and put it for like a $50 price point, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Um, and it looks like this is where this line is heading. I, I can't tell. You know, it's. I, I'm sure there's going to be hollow bits, and um, I mean, that all Transformers have hollow bits. I've, I've pointed that out many times. Masterpiece, third party, they all have hollow bits. Um, that's just how they do it. Um, so yeah, I, I know that there's going to have their hollow bits. Uh, maybe some um, corners will be cut, QC issues, stuff like that. But Ultimately, it, it for a higher price point, um, with having the better paint apps, better quality looking figures, I'm I'm full on. I, I'm a, I'm perfectly fine with it. I don't care if I'm spending twenty twenty five dollars for a good deluxe. If it's a good deluxe, I will spend twenty five dollars on a good deluxe. Um, and what's really exciting about this line is it's like they're rebooting Chug. Um, now Chug. Because some people, for whatever reason, don't know what Chug is. Um, it just baffles me um, that after all these years, people still don't know what Chug is. But Chug is Classic 10K Universe 2.0 and Generations, which then was followed up by um, Combine Wars, Titans Return, and Power of the Primes. Um, and you can kind of interchange everything. But it's like, it's like they're rebooting it. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. Because if you look at it, and it's like... They they take they took the the star characters, and they're just like okay who who's the most important characters? Well, you know we, we got to have an Autobot car, so let's do um, sideswipe. So we cross sideswipe up. Oh well, you know we got sideswipe, so we might as well do Red Alert. Cross that one out. Optimus Prime definitely got to get Optimus Prime in there. Cross him out. Ironhide cross him out. Um, Hound cross him out. What about Bumblebee? Well, the fans, you know, the true collectors are a little uh, fatigued on Bumblebee, and we got this movie coming out, so let's hold off on him. <laughs> and then, and it's like, okay, what about Decepticons? Well, everyone's been saying that they, we've been wanting a Voyager Seeker for a long time. That's not a piece of shit that came from the power of the primes. Uh, okay, so let's do Tetra Chets to Starscream. So cross that one out. If it's popular, we can make a whole bunch of Seekers. God, I could imagine the, the number of Seekers they're going to make out of this mold. Um, oh, oh, you know what? We, we, we gotta do a sound wave. Let's do a sound wave. Oh, we just did a sound wave. Oh, we can do another one. Uh, cross him out. Uh, what about Megatron? Uh, we did Megatron a couple times in the last couple lines. You know, we did Combiner's War and we did Titan's Return 1. Well, let's do another one. Cross him off. Um, Shockwave. Oh, yeah, we haven't done a really good looking Shockwave ever. <laughs> oh, well, let's cross him off. I, I mean, it's like they just went on. Uh, on all the forums, I was like, okay, what are the most popular characters that you want to see in a new line? And then and then they just, they grab them all, and then they're like, okay, what do you want to see in the new line? Uh, oh, better paint apps? Okay, we'll, get, we'll do that. Uh, better uh, articulation? We'll do that. Hide the waffles a little bit better? We'll do that. And it's like, what is going on? <laughs> it's like they actually stopped and listened. Um, 
it, it's 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 great. It looks good. I'm excited. I am thoroughly excited for this line. I I, I hope I'm conveying it, that <laughs> that in this. Um, I mean, this is probably going to be. Um, it, it's great for me because my collection has been kind of in a flux for a long time. So it's it's. And, and it's always been like, oh, you know, I kind of get excited for this one figure, but then, you know, the rest of the line's like, eh, I mean, eh. I mean, outside of Masterpiece Beast Wars, which, you know, that line's going slow. So, you know, that's not going to pick up. Um, but this, this Siege line has me pumped. Um, and, and it's like, and... and you know, if you look, if you go back and you look at all the different size scales um, for their figures, you know, their scale, whatever, um, throughout all of the chug lines has been up and down. You know, you got Voyagers, Grimlocks, followed by, you know, we had Deluxe Grimlocks, we had um, Deluxe Optimus, Voyager Optimus, several Voyager Optimuses. Voyager Optimuses that were triple changers. We had Leader Class Optimuses. Uh, we had Ultra Class Optimuses. I mean, Megatron's been all over the field. Starscream's been all over the field, and yet, <laughs> and yet we still hadn't got a good Voyager Seeker. Um, and it's just like it's just been a shitstorm uh, when it comes to the characters and and the scale, um, and that's been really unfortunate. Um, and it's been, you know, kind of hard to pick and choose the right ones. Um, but the Siege line seems to be like, okay, these guys are Voyagers. These guys are Deluxes. You know, they, they seem to have a scale in mind. And hopefully they could stick with it for a while. Um, and just only make, like, the big bots. You know, I mean, I'd be fine with, like, a Leader Class Jetfire, a new one. Um... Where, like, if you take all the battle armor off, he'd be more like a Voyager. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and, and, of course, you know, you could still fit in some of the older figures. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, and it seems to be, like, some sort of, like, cross between Neo and the Fall Cybertron um, lines. Uh, so it's, like, some sort of blend of that, which which I'm okay with. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Cybertronian alt modes, but it's like they, they took the G1 alt modes and they're like, okay, we're going to make these a little bit better. With the sub exception of Megatron, which is a complete change. But at the same time, I would prefer Megatron to be a tank than a gun anyway. Um, you know, and Soundwave, I, he should be something other than a tape deck at this point. Um, but anyway... Um, it looks good. Um, I'm excited for it. Uh, another benefit to this line is that because of the way the aesthetics look, um, you should be able to fit in like some of the older Toy World figures, um, MMC's re uh, reformatted line, uh, Planet X. Uh, Planet X is going to fit in real well. Um, Fans Project should be able to fit in there. Um, so you should be able to fit quite a few figures into this, ex you know, existing figures into this new line. Um, and then also, you know, of course, the Chug and Combiner Wars and all that stuff. Uh, you should be able to fit quite a few of those guys in there. Um, or at least use them supplement and hopefully they'll do new ones with the Siege line. Um, I, again, like I said, I, it's a good time for me because I've been in flux with my collection. So, like, what you see is kind of what I have. And, you know, so it's like I'm not in a point where I'm like, well, I don't really have room. Or, oh, do I need to start doing a purge to get make room for this and this? Um, but I was like, no, I've already got the figures. Or, you know, I've already got the holes in my collection. So now it's time to finally fill it with good-looking figures. And I am excited. Um... I just hope I can find three reflectors. <laughs> That's going to be the challenge uh, for for this for me, is, is finding three reflectors. But this might be one of those lines where I start ordering it online just to make sure that I get it. Um, you know, typically when it comes to Hasbro stuff, I, I prefer to look for them in stores just because I like that hunt. But this, might, I'm so excited, I, I might just be like, as soon as they had the pre-orders, up, click. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm excited. I, I think this looks good. What do you guys think of this line? 
Um, I know I kind of rambled on for quite a while. I don't even know how long it's been. But, uh, but yeah, it's... I'm blown away. <laughs> Thank you, Hasbro. Hopefully you don't let me down.